Puzzle games are a beloved genre on Android thanks to their accessible play that's well-suited for touchscreens. There's no shortage of engaging titles on the Play Store, and that's precisely why we've aching the time to compile our favorites. Golf Peaks is styled as a miniature golf game, but it's actually a puzzle game, which is why it's in today's list. There are over 120 levels to explore, spread across 10 worlds. Cards are used for movement as you decipher which cards will get your ball into the hole, making for a logic puzzler you will have to spend time thinking about. But that's where the fun is to be found, illustrating why this game is so appealing. It's designed well and offers tons of fun. What's not to like? Baba is you takes a traditional Sokoban puzzle game and turns it on its head through the use of cryptic words. You'll unlock specific abilities areas by pushing certain words together, which is ultimately how you solve each puzzle. Keep in mind that these solutions aren't easy, as this is an incredibly challenging game. But the solve is the reward, and it feels great once you finally get past a puzzle that was previously stumping you. Baba is you may be a short game clocking in at 7 hours to beat, but it's certainly one of the best puzzle games on the platform, which is why it's a great title to start with for today's Puzzle Game Roundup. Sesabit, a stress relief game. Sesabit is described as a stress relief game, and that label is apt. It will be your job to inspect each hand-drawn picture in the title to then answer questions about the image to the best of your ability. You can tap objects in each stage to uncover a few hints if any questions stump you. And of course, the beautiful line art makes this game a sight to behold. So if you enjoy chill memory games, Sesabit is a release that ticks all the appropriate boxes. Gora Goa Sliding tile puzzle games may have a reputation for being simple, but Gora Goa is anything but. Sure, you'll slide some tiles around, as that is part of the core gameplay. But thanks to some striking art and abstract puzzle solves, this is a game that goes way beyond moving a few tiles. Imagine if Salvador Dali created a video game, and you're getting close to the abstract play within this release. While the game is only two hours long, it's a heck of a ride that shouldn't be missed. Push is a fun minimal puzzle game where your single objective is to push a bunch of different buttons in the correct order. What is great about this setup is that there are no timers and no tutorials. Heck, there aren't even any boss fights. This is a game that's solely focused on gameplay and gameplay alone. Essentially, what you see is what you get, and what you get is a competent puzzle game that offers a stress-free experience. G30, a memory maze, is a minimal puzzle game that offers a unique story about a person suffering from a cognitive disorder. It will be your job to piece together their memory by solving two-part puzzles of scattered text and random images. You'll spend most of your time rotating these images to form larger pictures. The secondary puzzle element comes into play as you cycle these pics through words displayed at the top of the screen. These words ultimately tell a story, but you'll first have to solve each puzzle before you can piece together the entirety of the tale. Hidden Through Time is a stunning hidden object game that offers wonderful art, cute animations, and enjoyable gameplay. Mostly you'll spend your time deciphering clues to find all of the hidden objects in each level, and each stage is pleasantly animated, making it easy to gaze at the screen for hours as you hunt down every last hidden object. If you enjoy titles like Hidden Folks but are looking for a splash of color to brighten the experience, then you're going to love Hidden Through Time. Hidden Folks is a stylish hidden object game that's a joy to look at and play. All art is hand-drawn and consists of black and white pen and ink designs. Players are tasked with finding a particular person hidden in each drawing, much like a Where's Waldo book. This is easier said than done since you'll have to peel back and move objects in each environment to hunt these hidden people down. So unlike many of the hidden objects on the Play Store, Hidden Folks offers a highly interactive experience, which has a lot to do with the wonderfully engaging art style. Pocus is an indie puzzle game that exudes a minimal style. It will be your job to navigate a cube through a series of optical illusions. 
There are 120 handcrafted levels to explore, and if you get tired of these levels, you can jump into the optional level builder to design your own. What's great about this system is that you can even share these homemade levels through a code or card, which means you can also jump into levels created by other players if you so wish. Shadowmatic took it sweet, sweet time coming to Android, but the game is so pretty we can forgive the late arrival. The game setup is extremely simple. All you have to do is spin and tilt one or more of the game's 3D objects to form a shadow that displays the puzzle's desired shape. Things, of course, grow more complex when multiple objects are in play. The beautiful 3D graphics create a relaxed atmosphere perfect for short or lengthy gaming sessions, though you'll need some beefy hardware to run this title. Blue is a popular release in the color-themed puzzle game series from Bart Bont. The goal of the game is to change the color in all of the title's 50 stages to blue. If you get stuck, there are hints available, though ads will play unless you pay to remove them through an in-app purchase. Trial and error is the key to victory, especially if you plan on completing all 50 levels. Zenge is a beautiful title explicitly designed to offer a relaxing experience, but you also get a wonderful story about time and space paired with enjoyable puzzle-based gameplay. You won't have to worry about timers, a score, or anything like that, as you are free to solve each puzzle on your own time, without the game constantly tracking your achievements, which makes this a perfect title to play whenever you want to relax. I Love Hue 2 is a psychedelic puzzler where harmony, geometry, perception, skill, and magic intersect to create an enthralling puzzle game. Puzzles are solved by shuffling tiles to create harmony with the colors provided. There are over 900 puzzles to unravel within this release, and there are also multiple play modes, which should keep players busy for a long while. Oh, and the game contains six different ambient tracks that help set the mood for this trippy puzzler. Mechorama draws inspiration from similar isometric puzzle platformers, such as Monument Valley, but that's an easy thing to forgive when the games you imitate are solid to start with. Much like the titles that inspired this release, you can expect tons of humor and personality, and the developer has implemented a user-friendly way to pay what you want for the full game unlock, which is a nice touch. If your favorite game is not included in this list, write in the comments. Thanks for watching. Subscribe our channel, watch our other videos, press like, turn on notifications, and you will always be aware of what to play today.